There has to be a little bit of uptake. Mm -hmm. I think in general a good rule is if something is really puzzling and confusing like this, yeah, don't jump to the worst. Dig in, start a conversation, and see what's going on. I'll bet you get to the heart of it pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. It's just that, that conversation's not out on the table. Yes. You can help. You have to unlock that somehow. Good luck, Watson. Most podcast people are also audiobooks people. If I'm not listening to a podcast on my phone, I have the Audible app, and I have many books queued up. In fact, I just listened to one that we're probably going to end up talking about on our show. It's the book Thrive by Ariana Huffington. You know, she's a big advocate for taking better care of yourself, and a lot of it has to do with workplace policy. I used Audible to have that app, Audible, it was really good, but I don't know why I stopped using it. I think they updated it and broke it. So I might get that again. Is offering our listeners a free in 500 meters, keep right to continue toward Route 1. With a 30-day trial membership, just go to audible.com slash boss and browse the unmatched selection of audio programs. Download the title for free and start listening. It's that easy. Keep right. Go to audible.com slash boss. That's audible.com slash boss and get started today. Now we have a quest. In 500 meters, merge onto Route 1. Irritating, isn't it? It's so much louder. It's changed drastically over the past few months. Okay, there is a setting I can sort out of the phone later. The current supervisor for the past two years. The first 18 months were great. In the last six months, something has changed and I can't figure out what I should do. For example, our global team got together for a week long series of meetings. People flew in from all over the world for these. And he only went to one meeting. And he was 30 minutes late, and he left a half day early. Or there are times where we'll be on a conference call, and his boss will ask a question. He'll mute the phone, ask me for my answer, and then unmute and talk as if he knew the answer the whole time. Anytime someone on our team comes up with an idea or has a solution to a problem, he'll say, I thought of that, but I wanted to see if you guys would come up with it on your own, or something like that. Seems like he's always trying to be the smartest guy in the world. Continue on Route 1 for two kilometers. Are we past the honeymoon phase, or is there something else going on? That is not what this feels like to me at all, anyone really. else. And you know what? It also does not feel like smartest guy in the room behavior yeah, either. It doesn't, does it? No, this is a person who is showing too many <laughs> weaknesses. And the smartest guy in the room never shows weaknesses. The smartest guy in the room never asks, like, tell me the answer. Or they never even give a clue that they don't know exactly what they're doing. They just blow the eight on. Yeah, they critique everybody else's yes. idea. Nothing's ever good Exactly. What I feel here, the dramatic change that you point to in your boss's behavior leads me to conclude that there's a personal or I don't know what exit that is. Something going on at home, something that he has not shared with his colleague. Like sometimes it's an alcohol or drug problem, sometimes it's a sick relative. It could be any number of things. But this is someone who is no longer paying attention to their job for yes. some kind of reason. What do you think of it? I think you're dead on. There is clearly a personal thing going on here. And look, it could be a drug and alcohol thing. It could be a family member who just passed and was annoying and shocked. Yes. It could be somebody who just got tired. Look, well, see how it changes color, John? Mm -hmm. When it starts. Crazy shift in behavior. Mm -hmm. Something is going on. If there's some connections. Yeah. If there was a huge change in your behavior. I know the reason Mum didn't want to do this you journey. Want somebody do you know the reason? Because she didn't know how to get there. And, say, and she hasn't hey, got really, a holder for the things phone. Things seem really different over the last couple of months. Is everything okay? I mean, like, check in and go see. I'm confused or I'm worried about you. Things have really shifted. And by the way, it may oh, be none of my it. business. I get that. But I'm worried for you, and I just want to see if there's anything I can do to help and see if they open up. Now, they may that is not. a super scary thing to say, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's the right thing to do. Like, it's yeah. certainly the most empathetic thing to do and probably going to get you closest to what the actual issue yep. is here. But it is terrifying because a person who is in this level of wanting to cover up whatever is going on with them can just 
blow off that kind of a that's true but they may simply be in shock take in 300 meters take the exit okay that's easy and I know they're that. not able to engage and so somebody coming in and going i'm concerned could get them to open up now i do get that emotion funny you know take the exit i'm using data from the uk for this journey and I find and you're so emotional. Well, I am emotional. Yeah. That used to be and really expensive. And that's okay. The point is, you don't have to Stop own now. their you can issue use your data on the mobile. It. You can just as if you're them, in the UK. Let's go talk you know? to some people. Let's go get some help. And the data in if the you, UK is cheaper than in 50 meters Malta. at the roundabout, take the third exit onto Treek Hal Cormi. Treek Al Ormi, not call me, silly woman, Ormi. Bring in all kinds of professional help for people for all kinds of reasons. I, I don't or, want you to know be what? overly I, dramatic, yeah. but you could save somebody's life here. Yeah, I agree with you. It's just a question of what is the right approach. If saying, I'm worried about This is the supermarket down here okay? that we used to go that to. Can you imagine doing this journey to go forward? to the supermarket? You can at least acknowledge that things have yeah. changed a lot in it the was last four months. This was the first big supermarket. Exit the roundabout on Tetreek, um, Hal Cormi. About 10 years just, ago in Morgan. That feels yeah. a little bit more professional. You're not yeah, it's making, a little less emotional yeah, words. Yeah, yeah, like 18 months King. working for you, all yeah, good. Yeah, it is. It's and, a I feel like not so good. What's going on? What is really going on here? And then you're at least opening like the too. door to a conversation. I don't think we'll go back this way. We'll go back the other meters, way. At the like roundabout, the take the second on. exit onto Treek Manuel Dimech. Manuel Dimech, not Dimech. I think if you can pull off what Larry suggested, go for it. And if but, you can't pull yes. that off, I say do what Liz just said, because those are two great ways of getting at a very similar thing. Mm -hmm. Just using our own different styles or taking a different approach. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, to try to at least start the conversation. That's what needs to happen here. And don't assume it's just that the honeymoon is over. No it way. does not feel that way at all to either of us. Completely agree, Emilio. Go do some good in the world. Good luck, Amelia. Demo stagecoaches next week. We love hearing what you have well. to say about the show. Demo so when you get in, please head over to I Apple Podcasts and leave What's us the demo? Week. Just uh, go to our things, show page, uh, which you can find the in the notes for this episode. So click reviews, then click stage write a review. What, you're, you you're, like you're sort of putting on the... Uh, Exit the roundabout on Tutreek Manuel Dimech. You're putting on the play, yeah? Five star re in 600 oh, meters at the roundabout, okay. take the first exit on Tutreek Hal Luca. As well. Yes, we do. Thank you very much for listening. Here's we'll the supermarket. Here it wasn't the last one. About it's this one. That's Harvey. Feel crazy, but you don't have to. our season one finale. Unbelievable. <laughs> so we have a couple of prizes we want to award, right? We do indeed. I'm excited about What are they about doing it? to this okay. road? So for my strong call. Oh, I think they're widening I'm it. I'm thinking about the fact that this didn't season used to be one, like if I this. hit my bosses yeah, and now, we'll be back in a little bit, but you can all be doing some studying on Strong Calm Kind's bossery by binging on a couple of TV shows because I'm going to give you the leader heroes. I had my office down here oh, for a little while last year. Exit the roundabout onto Treek Hal Luca. It was, um. Continue on Treek Hal Luca for 800 meters. Good bossery homework. Good yeah, bossery down homework. This road here. And many fun things to watch. The first award goes to my personal role model, Olivia Down Pope there in the corner. <laughs> because Olivia, she's creative, she is resourceful, and she is loyal. She really built a kick-ass team of people who are very flawed, but she totally believes in them, Larry. She brings out the best of them. And she's an excellent delegator. In 500 meters, at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Tree <laughs> Hal Cormi. Gives her time Call to me. have an affair with the President of the United States. So, <laughs> so good for a little. My second uh, good bossery award goes to, of course, James T. Kirk, the commander of the Enterprise. Captain Kirk obviously really cares for his people, and he has a very diverse team of senior advisors. Very diverse. Uh, Spock and Scotty, Uhuru and Sulu. So, for having a heart 
and a diverse management team, I think we could study Captain Kirk. I love Captain Kirk as long as you're not one of those dudes with the red shirt that always does.